Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have another very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Find the equation whose roots are those of the given quartic diminished by 1 and hence solve the equation. As we have diminished by 1, so we can consider x minus 1. This we will consider equal to m. So our required quartic would be a times m power 4 plus b times m cube plus c times m square plus d times m plus e equal to 0. Now we have to find a, b, c, d and e. So I will divide our given quartic expression by x minus 1. It is similar as synthetic division method using base solution. So I will write directly here x equal to 1 and we can write all the coefficients of quartic equation. We will be writing here 12, minus 44, 19, 50 and minus 25. We will consider leading coefficient 12 as it is. Now we will multiply these two numbers. 1 times 12. We will write here 12. Minus 44 plus 12 minus 32. 1 times minus 32. Minus 32. Now we have to add these two. I will get here minus 13. 1 times minus 13 is minus 13. 50 and minus 13 we will add, we will get 37. 1 times 37 is 37. Once we will add these two, we will get 12. So this 12 is remainder and the remaining four numbers are coefficient of cubic expression. Now we will consider leading coefficient as it is. Our stage 2 will be here. We will write 12 here need to multiply 1 with 12 again. This is our stage 2. From here we will be getting coefficients for quadratic expression. So 1 times 12 is 12. Minus 32 plus 12 is minus 20. 1 times minus 20 is minus 20. Addition of these two will give us minus 33. 1 times minus 33 is minus 33. This difference will be 4. Addition of these two is the difference of 37 and 33 is 4. Now we will conclude 4 is our remainder and the remaining three numbers are coefficients for quadratic expression. So we will continue. We will consider our stage 3. Again leading coefficient we will write as it is. So 12 will be here. We will multiply 1 with 12. So 1 times 12 is 12. Addition of these two will be minus 8. 1 times minus 8 is minus 8. Addition of these two will be minus 41. So I will say this minus 41 is our remainder and the remaining two numbers are coefficient of linear expression. Now we will follow our last stage. Here we will consider the leading coefficient 12 as it is. I will multiply 1 with 12 which we will write here. Now we will add these two numbers. Addition will be 4. Now final conclusion is here. This 4 is our remainder. Now I will write the value of a, b, c, d, e. This is our a. This is our b. Minus 41 is C, 4 is D and this 12 is E. So we can write our required quartic equation directly using this method. This method is called Horner's method or Horner's method. Let me write our quartic here. So quartic would be A was 12. So I will write 12 m power 4. Then b was plus 4. So I will write here 4 m cube. 
C was minus 41, so I will write minus 41 m square. D was 4, so I will write plus 4 m. And E was 12, so I need to write here plus 12 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this quartic equation. So it is reciprocal equation. We can see 12 and 12. 4 and 4. So equation is reciprocal and m cannot be equal to 0. Now I will divide our equation by m square both sides. We will get 12 m square plus 4 m minus 41 plus 4 over m plus 12 over m square equal to 0 over m square will be 0. Now I will club first and last term all together and 12 is common over there. So m square plus 1 over m square in the bracket. Then we will write 4 common in the bracket we will get m plus 1 over m. Then minus 41 is there RHS is 0. Now m plus 1 over m, m square plus 1 over m square. So let us say m plus 1 over m, suppose this is equal to k. So I can write the value of m square plus 1 over m square by considering a square both sides. So I can write here this will be equal to k square minus 2. Let's put this value to our equation. I will write 12 times k square minus 2 plus 4 times k minus 41 equal to 0. Or I can write 12k square minus 24 minus 41 will be minus 65. And middle term would be 4k, RHS is 0. So this is one quadratic equation. We can use method of factorization. I can see the product of a and c. So 12 times 65, if I will write. Then 65 can be written as 13 times 5. And here 12 we can write factors 6 times 2. Now 2 times 13 is 26, 6 times 5 is 13. So a split of middle term 4k would be, I will write 30k minus 26k minus 65 equal to 0. Now from first two terms, we can take 6k common. So in the bracket we will get 2k plus 5 and from last two terms we will take minus 13 common so in the bracket we will get 2k plus 5 equal to 0 now 2k plus 5 will be common so in other bracket we will get 6k minus 13 equal to 0 now we will apply product 0 rule. We will get either 2k plus 5 equal to 0 or 6k minus 13 equal to 0. So from here we will be getting k equal to minus 5 over 2 and k equal to 13 over 6. Now k was our substitution m plus 1 over m. So I will write this will be equal to m plus 1 over m. So we will solve two equations. Let me write here minus 5 over 2 and 13 over 6. Now LHS I will write m plus 1 over m. This was k. So I can write here m plus 1 over m equal to minus 5 over 2 
एंड एम प्लस वन ओवर एम इक्वल टू थर्टीन ओवर सिक्स नाउ आई विल मल्टीप्लाई ओवर इक्वेशन बाई एम फर्स्ट सो एम स्क्वायर प्लस वन इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव एम ओवर टू नाउ मल्टीप्लाई ओवर इक्वेशन बाई टू वी विल गेट टू एम स्क्वायर प्लस टू इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव एम और आई कैन राइट टू एम स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एम प्लस टू इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी कैन स्प्लिट फाइव एम एज एम प्लस फोर एम एज अवर ए सी प्रोडक्ट इज फोर टू टाइम्स टू इज फोर सो आई कैन राइट हेयर द डायरेक्ट फैक्टराइजेशन और लेटस राइट हेयर टू एम प्लस फोर एम प्लस एम प्लस टू इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी विल टेक टू एम कॉमन इन द ब्रैकेट एम प्लस टू हेयर आई विल टेक वन कॉमन In the bracket, we'll write m plus two equal to zero. So factorization would be m plus two times two m plus one equal to zero. So from here we'll be getting two m values, negative two and negative half. Now we have to solve second equation. Multiply both sides by m as m cannot be zero. So we will write m square plus one equal to thirteen m over six. Multiply both sides by six. So six m square plus six equal to thirteen m. Or I can write six m square minus thirteen m plus six equal to zero. Now six times six is thirty-six, and nine times four is also thirty-six. So we can split minus thirteen m. I can write here the direct factors: three m minus two times two m minus three equal to zero. We'll apply product zero rule. We will get m equal to two over three. And m equal to three over two. So here we have four roots of required quadratic equation. So I will write m equal to minus half minus two two over three three over two. So these are roots of required quadratic equation. now if we will write roots of original equation this equation original equation then we have to add one to all of the four roots so i will write here x and i will add one 1 minus 1 over 2 1 minus 2 One plus three over three. One plus three over two. So one minus half is half. One minus two is minus one. One plus two over three is five over three. And one plus three over two is five over two. So here we have roots for our original equation. I hope, friends, you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye